Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 39. First the problem statement. Problem is quite interesting. We have to write a SQL query to print movie theater like seating arrangement as shown below. So if you see the output, we have total 12 rows from A to L and each row is having 10 seats starting with A1 to A10. Similarly for other row also will have B1 to B10 to till L1 to L10. You can visualize the seating arrangements with this picture. You can see suppose we have a row number K and the seat will start from K1 and it will go to K, uh, K10. So this is the problem and let's see how we can solve this problem in SQL Server. So we can solve this problem by using common table expression. So I will start with the code. So I am starting with with clause with let's say ct underscore underscore alphabet. This I have given the name as I will open the bracket and then I am going to select We'll use char function and then inside that I'm going to use a sky code function and I will use letter A and I'm going to close the bracket and we'll give alias as letter. After that I'm going to do union all and I am going to copy this so you must be aware a sky code gives the the a sky code gives the a sky code of A and this char function will convert them into a what is the uh, the corresponding character so I am what I am doing over here I am selecting letter and then I will be replacing this A with letter and I will be incrementing the value by 1. After that, I am going to select from CT underscore alphabet. This is actually recursive CT where letter is not equal to L. So we want row till L. That's why I have selected where letter is not equal to L. So this is our first city. If you want to see what is what what value does it return? So we'll do select star from CT underscore alphabet. So if I run this you can see we have the letter A to L. This is the row number. So our first target is achieved. Now we'll go for second target. That second target is to get the numbers from 1 to 10. So I'm going to delete this part and then I will, I will create another CTE. Let's say CTE underscore uh, uh, seat as here I'm going to select one as number and I'm going to do union all and after that I'm going to select number plus one from ct underscore seat where number is less than 10 we are generating till 10 because we want seat till 10 so let's see what this CT is returning 
select star from ct underscore seat if I run this so we are able to generate number 1 to 10 now our second target is achieved first we got the letter from A to L and the second we, uh, CT we got the number from 1 to 10 now I am going to create another CTE named as final so skip comma and then we give CTE underscore final as and I'll open the bracket and in that I'm going to select letter and then I'm going to concatenate this letter with number so before concatenating first I'll have to get uh, use I have to use trim function inside the inside this we have to give number so before concatenating I will have to convert this number to a string so I will use str function and then I am going to use n number close the bracket and we will give alias as let's say seat number and then I have will select from these columns from first ct that is ct underscore alphabet and i am going to do a cross join with the second ct that is ct underscore seat so let's see what what result does this ct underscore final gives so we'll do select star from ct underscore final so now you see that we have got the cross product of the letter and the seat number now what we have to do we have to convert these rows a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 g1 h1 i1 j1 k1 l1 into one row these are all are coming into different different columns sorry different different rows so we have to get this into one column so for that what we will do so for that i am going to first we will select letter and i will give alias as row and then i am going to use string aggregate function Inside this, I'm going to use seat number and I want seat number separated by comma. So I will give comma in some with the inverted commas and then I'm going to use within group and inside this, I will be doing order by letter I'll close the bracket and in the end I'm going to use group by letter so now if I run the full code here you go we got the solution you can see now we have the row from A to L and each row is having uh, seat number A1 to A10, B1 to B10 till L1 to L10. So we'll, we, what we have missed, we have missed only the alias. That's it. So we'll give alias as seat arrangement. Seat underscore arrangement. So this is how we can solve this problem by using CT. Better we can say it's a, a recursive CT. That's all. For this video if you have liked my video please do like it and do subscribe my channel thank you and thanks for watching